What I remember about him most particularly uh, was the courage he showed in really difficult circumstances. Uh, he took on issues that uh, governments had ignored for a long time with regard to particularly indigenous issues. It's a terrible shock to the family uh, and to friends and we're all, I think, uh, still getting used to this sudden absence. But he was a, uh, a very important figure in the life of his city and his province and his country and in my life and that of other friends he made. On behalf of the, of the people of Saskatchewan, I just want to express uh, our sympathies and condolences first to Karen and, uh, and the family. Every single tribute referenced the fact that his number one priority, notwithstanding all of his achievements and all of his activities, his number one priority was his family. That's perhaps um, the greatest, late. well that is, that's the greatest legacy any of us can leave. And the fact that people from all of his different uh, phases in his life and, and, and his various walks of life, that they all knew that, that they understood that with clarity, that for Jim, his family was the top priority. That says more about the man than, uh, than any other accolade would. He was a person that loved public service and he was someone that cared deeply about public policy. And it's a great reminder to all of us that to serve is a sacrifice in some ways, but it's really an honor. And uh, it makes me really proud to call him a friend. Uh, and I just want to thank Canadians, Albertans, everyone who's expressed so much to his family and friends and colleagues. And on behalf of our party, to just say a big thank you uh, on behalf of his colleagues. It's been very heartfelt and it means a lot to all of us.